Valley woman's grief over the death of her baby nine years ago grew into an effort to keep other families from experiencing her same anguish. It's building a better Arizona and raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for the Children's Heart Foundation. It's amazing how many children are affected by congenital heart defects. That's a fact Janine Kokodinsky didn't know until pregnant with her third child, she went in for her 18-week ultrasound appointment. And it was the ultrasound technician that had indicated that um, Matthew had three out of the four chambers of his heart. So he was missing a chamber of his heart. That was 2005, and it meant once Matthew was born, he'd have to have open heart surgery, which doctors performed when he was three days old. We had all the hope in the world that he would do well. But there were complications. He went into cardiac arrest. His heart was just too weak, and, um, and he passed away when he was 32 days old. You know, his heart was just was not strong enough. Less than a year after Matthew passed away, Janine turned her grief and loneliness into a mission to do something good. She started the Arizona chapter of the Children's Heart Foundation to help raise money and awareness about congenital heart defects. Congenital heart defects takes four times as many lives than any childhood cancer, and it's just terribly underfunded. The passion to do something good also led her to start the first congenital heart walk in Arizona five years ago. Seeing this heart community come together and, and, to, and to, to do this one mile walk in honor and in memory of their loved ones, it's amazing. And this year's Congenital Heart Walk is happening this Sunday, November 9th in Tempe. It's a family event, and if you would like more information, I've put a link on our website. Just look for my online story at cbs5az.com, and I'm looking forward to being there.